Hey guys, Booligan here with Booligan Airsoft and Shooting Sports, bringing the channel back after a brief hiatus to take a look at a new firearm that I just put together. This is my idea of a sort of pack gun. So it is something that is compact, foldable, and is chambered in a very easy to find and very easy to shoot rimfire round. It has a very short barrel and a pistol brace, making this a pistol. Let's talk about the individual parts that I put into this and how you might be able to build one of your own. Up top, it starts with a Keystone Shooting Sports Chipmunk Pistol Receiver, Barrel Receiver setup. Um, these come equipped with Williams Fire Sights, so fiber optic sights front and rear, which give a very nice bright picture with any amount of ambient light. The pistol models of these come with a like a 10 and a half inch barrel, and this guy comes with a half inch by 28 TPI threaded muzzle, allowing me to install something like my Amtac fire and suppressor, which we'll take a look at in just a bit. You may have seen, or you may have heard of the cricket rifles. Um, they're usually uh, directed towards like first shooters. Uh, they're very inexpensive, like usually under $150. Um, they, those are full rifles, they come with a 16 inch barrel. Um, but these guys come as a pistol and usually it comes with sort of like an ergonomic uh, either wood or polymer grip depending on which model you buy. But I obtained this directly, ordered it straight from Keystone with just the barreled assembly. Didn't need to waste time on a stock or anything like that um, because I wanted to go with their Cricut Alloy Chassis. This is a 6061 aluminum chassis that comes equipped um, or it comes naked basically, um, you can add your own AR style grip as well as stock. In this case, we did not go with the stock, we went with a shockwave blade pistol brace. Um, the whole idea behind this was to get something that was accurate, easy to shoot, able to be suppressed, that was a big deal for me, compact and very lightweight. Some of the stats on this, um, again, has that 10 half inch barrel. It comes in weighing under four pounds. It's actually like three and three quarter pounds as it currently sits. Um, and in order to make it more compact, I added a leapers side folding uh, buffer tube adapter. Um, it's actually mounted upside down. Um, something that you'll notice on this, it's a left-handed bolt. The pistol assemblies come with a left-handed bolt because usually if you're doing pistol shooting out of it, you'll be shooting with your right hand, manipulating your bolt, putting your individual round in, and going from there. So that's why they put the bolt on the left side, so that you're not going to be shooting and then taking bolt. It makes it a little bit of a pain in the butt if you are using it right-handed. However, because it is a single shot repli or excuse me, a single shot firearm, you, I mean, there's no magazine or anything like this. You are loading each shot individually as you shoot it. Um, having it be on the left side actually isn't that bad because you can pull a new round in, pop it in, cock it, and go without it really leaving your um, you know shooting position braced up against your cheek. You have a good sight picture that whole time. Um, the way that these things operate, and especially this new version, I didn't see a lot of information about the new versions of the, uh, the chipmunk pistols. Um, the website indicated that they had a threaded barrel, but I didn't see anything about it. So here you can see a little bit more detail. It does have a thread protector. The threads appear to be concentric to the bore. Um, I ran a dowel down the barrel with my suppressor equipped, and it didn't appear to have any issues bumping into the baffles or anything like that. So all together now with a suppressor on the front, your barrel length is about 15 inches. Um, so obviously this is classified as a pistol. Um, it is not a rifle and that's really why I wanted to go with this setup. The operating principles of this, so what you do is you run the bolt back, you'll see these new versions do have the easy feed ramp in there, so you don't have to like take the round and like put it in the barrel, it's kind of a pain in the butt if you got fat fingers like me. So with these you kind of just put it in there, run it forward, and it's good to go. You then have to manually cock it. Again, most of these Cricut and Chipmunk uh, rifles and pistols are designed for brand new shooters. I mean, literally they market it as my first rifle. 
So therefore the manual of arms is going to be a little bit more complicated just because you want them to be safe. You want users to be using this thing extremely safely. So there's no real accidents happening here. So once it's cocked and ready to go, you simply pull the trigger, it fires, and um, you know to eject the round, you just manipulate the bolt. It's got a very good ejector and extractor. Poom, pings it out, take a new round, put it in, you're ready to go. Um, the trigger pull on this, uh, is shockingly good. I was expecting, especially considering these chipmunk pistols and rifles usually run about $100 to $150, I was expecting it to have, you know, just a real lousy, heavy, long trigger. And it's that's simply not the case. The trigger feel is a little squishier than I'd like. It's not like a, you know, snapping a, a piece of glass in your finger or anything. It's, it's a little spongy, but the weight is super light. It's only two and a half pounds which for something that's stock and has not had many manipulations you know, of the action yet, that's quite good. And I'm sure that this is going to slick up even more with time. Um, the grip that I went with is a Tapco uh, saw style grip. It's big and it's chunky, which fits my hand well, but the main reason I went with it is because it's got a nice little locked up storage compartment so that I can come up with some survival um, items to put in there, you know, because considering the whole idea of this is to have something that you have tucked in a backpack that you can use to gather game or, you know, just toss in a pack, go camping. If you don't want to carry a full-size rifle and you want to have something a little bit more accurate than just a pistol, you know, that you're a non-stabilized pistol that you're holding in your hands, um, that's kind of the whole idea behind this thing. The side folding stock adapter that I went with is from Leapers or UTG, and it is mounted, as I mentioned, upside down. Normally these feet fold to the left. However, if it folded to the left, it would interfere with the bolt since this is a left-handed bolt. Um, so it's mounted upside down so that it folds to the right. It just changes how you have to do it. But the nice part is that you still have enough clearance in there to actually still operate this with the brace folded to the side. So you still have, you know, a more compact, it's still able to function in this. You don't have to unfold the brace to deploy it to be ready to shoot. So that's a little bit of a long-winded explanation of this thing. Um, we're gonna get it to the range uh, soon in the next couple of weeks and, um, you know, see how it does. But my understanding is these things are kind of tack drivers. The barrels are very high quality. It's a fully free-floated barrel. Nothing's touching it at all. So it should be a very, um, it's a mechanically simple action, which means it should equate to a very accurate firing firearm. These do, as they say, as I mentioned, they come with the fire sights, but they also are available with a scope mount kit. Um, I like the simplicity of having the iron sights on here and the scope mount that it comes with is only for dovetail rings, which I don't have any dovetail mounts at all. Um, if anything, I would mount like a little red dot on it, but I'd have to get a whole different mount and adapters for that. And for now, we're just sticking with the iron sights. So stay tuned. I promise it'll be less than four months before I update the channel again. Um, and we'll be getting some time at the range with this, as well as another project that I'm just waiting to have a barrel cut down for a 410 bore AR pattern firearm. That thing is going to be very interesting. I gotta find the right guns, but to finish it up at this point. But this guy, just about done. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll be seeing more of this at the range very shortly. Thanks, you guys, for sticking around through many years this channel's been running. And as always, thanks for watching.